how do I know that I'm getting blue-green algae that's clean that doesn't have the bad blue-green algae in it? I mean, we can go deep in this if you want, because I was, yeah. I was, I was like in the middle of this, and when when all the toxicity, the talk, the, the knowledge of toxins coming from blue green algae all exploded, like in the late 1980s, 1990s, and when all of this exploded in the marketplace, well, I was sort of the link with the FDA in Washington to evaluate a lot of of these issues. So, I mean, I've, I've, I I worked with this very deeply, uh, and to summarize it. Uh, Blue green algae itself does not make the blue green algae AFA from Klamath Lake itself does not make toxins. It does not. Absolutely. It does not. There are many strains of that species other places in the world that make toxin. And in the scientific literature, toxicologists are interested into toxins. So it makes those strains appear to be like make the picture appear much bigger. In reality, there are thousands more strains of these blue green algae that are not toxic. 